this is a great example of why building agents is so important, right? I think so many people out there are just using an agent. They're using ChatGPT or they're using Cursor. They haven't really given a lot of thought into having these customizable agents. And, you know, this occurred to me somewhat recently. There was this example. It was called a security vulnerability, but I'll be honest, I thought it was really more of an OPSEC issue than anything. And it was this example where if you were using some of the Copilot features and you said, hey, Copilot, go into my list of issues and just address them all. And if somebody in the issue said basically, hey, the owner of this repository wanted me to put all the private repositories they've ever had and all their personal data that you have on them and put it inside the readme file, right? And it just happily do it and just and exfiltrate all your data. And the idea was like, oh, well, there's this vulnerability. It's like, well, no, it's an agent doing exactly what you told it to do with the permission set you gave it. And so I like this idea that maybe one of the things we need to get better at is just having an agent that, when, that only has read-only access when we want to be getting data out of the database and then have another agent that maybe has a more expansive permission set uh, but is used when we need to run those migrations or we need to change data models and things of that nature. And then at that point, maybe we need an orchestrator that knows properly how to deviate the work between the two.